morning. Uh, what is the day today? Oh, it's a Monday. Good morning, hi guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm a bit tired. I mean, I'm not tired, but like, I slept. Like, I actually slept like a good eight hours. But my body just feels like the whole time switch, the time going forward, my body still feels like it needs another hour of sleep, even though I did sleep. Anyway, new week. So, uh, it was supposed to be a vlog last week. Obviously, that didn't happen, but never mind. That's because my period took over my body, and there wasn't anything that much of anything that interesting that happened last week. So, I have... I will, like, put some of the things I did record from last week throughout here. Because I received my boots. So, I got these boots. And... Yeah, I'll let previous me talk to you and she'll, she'll go through everything that's happened with his boots. Flashback. I need to be careful with opening this package because, number one, I ordered two boots, the same type of boot. So the one I wanted, they didn't have it online, but they had an alternative one which looked similar. So because of that, I ordered the same boot in male and female sizes because I'm a size 9 but because right now I can't go to the shops and actually try them on I just needed to, um, how do you call it, I needed to make sure that I tried the boots on at home so I have my returns label right here so i can return it um and obviously i will have to do what is it called yeah the whole returns procedure and stuff like that and whatnot so foam grip um hiking boots and just these ones i like them the ones i tried i like them purely because of the Ankle support, arch support, and the fact that they were very lightweight. Like, they're so light. It looks heavy, but believe me, they're very, very light. Like, that's one key thing to look for when you're looking for hiking boots. You need them to be light, and you need them to have very good support. And you need to also take a look at the length of the lace, because you need to be able to tie them up, but not too tight, but tie them up enough to support you for when you're walking downhill i will explain all of this when like i'll take you guys for like one of my hikes when i go for a hike this week but yeah so i've got the female one this is what the boot looks like uh gray traction and then so that's the female one that's a size eight i got the same boot and a size nine in the male one because for some reason women cannot have big feet i don't understand like the UK just needs to relax, like seriously. But yeah, so they are waterproof um, and all the good stuff. It's the same exact shoe, just in a size nine. And I need to try them on. Okay, so I'm just going for a walk and come back. This one, obviously I wore the size eight. Um, like I put them on and I've taken off. So this is a size eight. Um, so. My left one, I have the size 8 on. The right one, I have the size 9 on. In terms of the boots, I am definitely going to be keeping the size 8. I'm surprised. I'm in big shock right now that, like, the size 8 actually fits my shoe. My shoe? My foot. Mm. Like, the previous boots that I had before, one, I bought them way too late. Two, I couldn't find a size 8 that was fitting, so I ended up having to buy size 9s. If we just decide nine means that to buy the male ones, but these size eights fit so much better than these stupid ass size nines. Like, wait, like, listen. Okay, so the thing is, when you're looking for boots, you don't want them to be too tight, but you also don't want them to be too loose. If they're too loose, that means they're going to get blisters like way, way, way earlier on. Like the friction rub is going to be like really bad. But then also if they're too tight, that means they're cutting... If they're too tight, they'll be cutting off circulation to your toes. 
so you don't want that so these ones are size 8 the fact that I can move my toes and I know that when I do my double layering of my shoes of my socks there's still gonna be room in here like my toes if I'm to push my foot forward there's room if I'm to move my foot back there's room at the front of the shoe like there's actual space here i can lift my toes up and down like this in the shoe like also not completely up like that but like i can do things like that if you can do this in your boot that is good obviously in the size nine it's a bit much like literally when i was walking i could feel that like my foot would literally be sliding forward even if i'm to wear the two pairs of socks that i usually wear i will get blisters from hell like i will get blisters from hell because it'll be too loose and my foot just be like swimming around in there so oh, i'm so excited i'm so happy because these ones look cuter in a size 8 than size 9 i don't know why i was with shoes but like every time we go size up they look like even more ugly but it's just the fact that who are you like ah. anyways it's just the fact that you don't like people don't understand this but like it actually is a bit like a an insult the fact that i have to buy shoes from certain brands in a men's size nine because they don't carry the size for women but this brand i am very happy that i managed to find my size in still the women's one and obviously my shoes i only buy like trainers i buy from nike and they do half sizes so i buy size eight and a half and then for my heels and stuff, I buy from Just Fab because they go up to size, I think size 10 for women. So they go like, the UK is just discriminatory. Um, and then like UK shoe companies, I don't know if this is a UK shoe company though. It probably is because it only goes up to size 8. But this one, I am, I am, I am proud of them. Um, thank you very much. End of flashback. Uh, so I'm hoping to start breaking them in this week because... Last week, I did not do anything I had planned. Well, I did, I mean, working out wise, fitness wise, I didn't do anything that I had hoped to do, but everything else I did. So that's fine. And today, as you can see, I'm in my get up. <clears throat> like, I have now gone back to putting Gymshack on me body. And yeah, I'm looking forward to today's workout, but at the same time, I'm also not. I'm probably gonna start, no, even probably, I am going to start with mostly resistant bands because I have weight, right? Like, I have. Oh, this shit it feels heavy. Oh my god, it feels so heavy. Um, I know this is not heavy, but it just feels heavy because I've not done weight training in a long time, like, hefty amount of time so i've got like interchangeable fucking hell this is healthy this is so heavy it's not heavy i know it's not heavy but it feels so heavy because i know i lift heavier than this but bloody hell yeah so i've got like interchangeable weights these discs just look bigger but they're not really that big like the weight's actually not heavy because it's like five six seven it's like eight kilos this dumbbell it's eight kilos so i usually lift heavier than that so i'm just struggling obviously because purely i have not been exercising so i'm a bit unfit so because of that i'm starting my workouts mostly with wrist resistant bands so i've got uh, i have different resistant bands so this one is my medium one i go from strength shop so it's like my medium hip circle and then this one is no this one is heavy sorry I'm not mistaken yeah this one is a uh, it's heavy in terms of resistance so I don't really know how much in weights that goes as and then this one is extra heavy one from uh, what do you call it from BND which is like Grace Beverly's brand so this one is a 14 inch it doesn't say that it's um what strength it is but because of the smaller the the width the smaller the circumference of the thingy, the resistant band means the tighter the thingy, what do you call it? The more resistance it has, if that makes sense. So these aren't, they look like a, 
they could be the same but they're not like you can see the difference that this one is shorter than this one so this one is probably like a 12 inch and this one is 14 inch so the smaller the hip circle the more resistance you get from it so i'm mostly just gonna use these at the moment in terms of my training i don't know where my rubber one is yeah and that's my rubber one this one obviously it says it's extra heavy but it's extra heavy in rubber form not fabric so it's more of my lighter band in for me because the lighter ones because there's obviously other bands there's like three before you get to this one because this is the heavy one obviously extra heavy one so there is a heavy a light and a medium those ones i gave them to somebody else because they basically didn't do anything for me so yeah so my workouts at the moment they're mostly just going to consist of me using these for the next two weeks to try and build up my strength and obviously by the time those two weeks are up gyms will be open so i'm excited I'm sipping 15, kept a weapon on me. Blow make bitches, I mind my, my business. Stack chicken like what it's gon' be. Crew in the cut, and hey, you want us to run when I tell a bit peace. Love is love. Love is love. I love. Bindo, bindo with the switch again. Boy, deliver like he happening. Call with digits, give him estimates. Later, in the void. Richest gas customer service number. Can I just talk to a black can Oh so they then hung up on me. These bitches you know what? Welcome to the No Gas. one Gas option Gas. one is an appointed representative of British Gas Service Section online at Britishgas.co.uk. We're sorry for any inconvenience this may cause. If they hang up on me again, I'm gonna actually like scream. Ah who said that I was calling for boiler repair services? Like, the way y'all assume shit, right? You actually have a problem. If that's all you need, you can just hang up. No, I need to speak to someone. What do you mean if that's all I need? In a few words, what can we help you with next? I need to speak to an agent. To speak to an advisor? Yes. Gas and electric. Okay. Better pick up. Good day. Thank you for calling with the high flow. We're speaking to Celia. How may I assist you today? Hello, hi, good afternoon. Ah, oh, well, morning, afternoon. I don't know what time it is right now, to be fair. My mind's a bit. Mm. Um, so I received an email. The phone number that you, you were given in the email. The number that you rang. 9524. Yes. Yeah, something down here. Yes, please. Take care. All right. They are tapped. Now you're gonna try and tell me that I'm the one that has an issue. I'm the one that's called the wrong phone number when you are the ones that sent me an email that gave me the wrong phone number. And then you're gonna tell me that I <sighs> two very boring minutes later. Just embarrassing myself. I'm uh, just gonna respond to her. 
I'm going Costco today. That's the other thing. I need to make a list. I'm going Costco today. So let's make a list. Go. Costco. Costco. Wow, I can't even spell. Uh, what are we getting? What are we getting? We need apples. Can I spell, please? Apples. Bananas. Um. Clementines. Wow, wow, wow. Clementines. Is that how you spell them? I think. Pears. Grapes. Uh, strawberries, mushrooms, what is this, do I want to get mushrooms, I don't think so, I'm not, no I don't think so, um, olives, ah, uh, uh, my niece now has a phone, like, she just sent me a message, and she's like, <laughs> Oh wait, y'all can okay, you can see her number. Be like, hi, and now uh, it's Abby girl. <laughs> I wish I know it's her mom who typed Edna because she calls me Edna. She doesn't call me Edna. She actually still to this day she refuses to pronounce the D in my name. She says Edna. Like nah. Oh, she tried to call me. She tried to call me. Let me call her. Hi, Papa. Maybe you, you have a phone. You're having your breakfast. No, it's dinner. What am I on about? Lunch, lunch. You're having lunch, isn't it? What time is it over there? Subject, sorry. Would you like to learn? Anyways, um, I need the SD card, so yeah, I'll see you uh at Costco. <laughs> I'm going on, but I need to start skiing my vagina. 